Hey, good morning, y'all. Jesus is still Lord. Thank God the word works. I started talking to you yesterday about Psalm 91, and I want to go back to that. He that dwelleth, uh, that lives in the secret place, that's the place that the devil don't know where you are. I am so thrilled today that he doesn't know where I am, and the word of God says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Or put it another way, anything the devil can dream up will not prosper against you. Also, in the New Testament, it says Satan is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Well, I'm a whom he cannot devour, and you are a whom that he cannot devour. God's on your side, and we always win. I got to tell you this little story. It says, we shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. When I was a little boy in school, third grade, fourth grade, there was a problem in the school. I don't remember what it was exactly, but, you know, I got accused of being a part of the problem. And so they sent a pink slip with me and sent me home and said, he can't come back without his mama or daddy. Well, I didn't do it. I mean, most of the time I was guilty, but this time I really wasn't guilty. I hadn't done what they said that the other guys were doing. So my mama took me to school, went into the principal's office. Now, get the picture of this. In those days, all the women wore skirts, dresses. And so I'm standing behind my mama in the principal's office behind her skirt. She was kind of a large lady. And she's explaining to the principal, Frankie didn't do that. This time I wasn't guilty and she wasn't going to have me uh, reprimanded and punished for what I didn't do. Now I'm standing behind her, behind, you know, this large woman with her skirt on. And when she convinced the principal that I didn't do it, I snuck out around the side and looked at her and said, yeah, yeah, get them, mama. I didn't say that to the principal, but that was my thought. See, I was in the shadow of my mama. I was behind her and I knew the principal couldn't get to me until he went through her and that wasn't going to happen. Now get this. You're in the shadow of Almighty. That's El Elyon, the Most High God. So how's the devil going to get through to you unless you say something stupid and say, well, you know how it is. The devil's out to get you and you ain't nothing you can do about it. Don't say that. Watch this, verse 2. For I will say that the Lord is my refuge and in him will I trust. Now watch this. My fortress and my refuge. Everything in the rest of Psalm 91 is connected to that your tongue. Say, God's on my side. Say, God's my refuge. Say, God's my fortress. In him will I trust. Say what the word says and not what religion says. Religion says the devil's going to get you. Well, religion lied. Religion says it's hard to serve God. Religion lied. What you got to do is say it. Now watch this. I'm going to run a little over today, but watch this. You can say that a baked potato is good but you won't never know it until you eat it. So you say it, you, you say the word of God, which is meditating in the word of God. You, you get it out of your mouth and you don't, well, a fortress is a great thing, but unless it's your fortress, I will say the Lord is my fortress. I will say the Lord is my castle, my high place. I will say in him do I trust and my saying it is what turns the rest of it on. Did you get that? We're, we're in the shadow of the most high God, but we got to say it, say it, say it. You know, somebody says, well, I'm tired of that saying stuff. Well, say it because that's the only way it works. Hey, I got to go. God's on your side. You're going to win. Be blessed today. And until I'm with you tomorrow, you remember all day, Jesus is Lord. And thank God the word works.